Huang Zhu was an administrator of late Han Dynasty period of Chinese history, and the administrator later served under the Jing province warlord, Lu Biao, as an experienced naval commander. During his tenure, General Huang was most famous for his involvement with the death of other two skillful commanders, Sun Jian and Lin Kao. Biography Background There are plenty of historical records concerning Huang Zhu, but they are scattered over different texts while Huang Zhu never have a personal biography in any official record. Since Jiang Xia Commandery is renowned as the cradle of the Huang clan, Huang Zhu, being the administrator of Jiang Xia, probably came from an influential family rooted there. After the Han nobleman, Lu Biao, had arrived at his post of governor of Jing province, the new governor allied himself with local clans and the Huang clan had since been guarding the west entrance of the province against another powerful warlord, Yuan Shu, who had his base east to Jing province. In return, Governor Lu supported Huang Zhu's massive navy with financial aid during peacetime, and military assistance during critical moments. Under such arrangement, Huang Zhu remained largely independent from Lu Biao, and the administrator enjoyed autonomy over Jiangxia. Battle of Zhang Yang After the alliance against Dong Duo disbanded, the former members of the alliance polarized greatly. Yuan Shao, the leader of the alliance, feuded against his half brother, Yuan Shu, and obtained the alliance of Lu Biao. In opposition, Yuan Shu succeeded in requesting Sun Jian of Changsha to attack Lu Biao's territories. To fight Sun Jian, Lu Biao assigned the defense to his most capable general, Huang Zhu, who immediately led his army to counter Sun Jian's offensive around the city of Fan and the city of Dang, but General Huang was defeated. Observing that Sun Jian cannot be overcome on open field, Huang Zhu fled to Zhang Yang, Lu's capital and fortress city, for a final defense. The battle went in Sun Jian's favor until one night when Huang Zhu led a contingent of soldiers to perform a sneak attack on Sun Jian's camp. Although the tactic was foiled, Sun Jian was shot by a stray arrow when he was pursuing Huang Zhu into O Forest. In the historical novel, Romance of the Three Kingdoms, the author attributes Sun Jian's death to a ploy by Kui Liang and Lu Gong, two of Lu Biao's subordinates. Huang Zhu was, however, captured by Sun Jian's eldest son, Sun Si, but the captive was soon released to exchange for the father's body. Historically, Huang Zhu was never captured by Sun Si, and the former was credited by the records of the Three Kingdoms to be the sole person responsible for outwitting Sun Jian. Efforts against Sun Si's expansion with Sun Jian now gone, Yuan Shu alone was unable to bypass Huang Zhu and take over Jing province. So Lu Biao was spared to build up power in the province. As the years passed, young Sun Si grew up and successfully built an army in Yang province to the east, intending to fulfill his father's legacy. Lu Biao feared Sun Si, who earned himself the nickname Little Conqueror after the conquest of Jiang Dong, would become a threat to him. Therefore, Governor Lu fanned Huang Zhu to attack Sun Si at Shaxian, taking the opportunity the Little Conqueror was fighting Lu Zun. Administrator of Lu Zhang. Through strategy, Sun Si quickly defeated Lu Zun and turned his attention to his patricidal nemesis, Huang Zhu. The little conqueror brought with him and his cousins, Sun Ben and Sun Fu, as well as his chief lieutenant, Zhou Yu, and his trusted general, Tai Shi Si. Huang Zhu, on the other hand, gathered his clansmen, sent his son, Huang Shi, and the nephew of Lu Biao, Lu Pan, to do battle. Both sides devoted much effort into this war, especially the house of Huang, yet Sun Si's navy overcame Huang Zhu's. Taking the heads of tens of thousands, including almost all of Huang Zhu's family, Huang fell back to Jiangxia, and Sun Si expanded a bit of his power into the outskirts of Jing province during the counterattack. 
In the year 200 AD, the imperial protector, Cao Cao, sent the famed scholar, Mi Heng, to Lu Biao in order to be rid of the literati, who was intolerably critical and rude. The patrician Lu Biao was indeed insulted by the scholar's lack of respect, so the malignant sent the scholar to the short-tempered Huang Zhu, in hope that his peevish commander would kill Mi Heng. General Huang was at first eager to be in the presence of Mi Heng. However, after being derided, the general beheaded the famous Mi Heng out of pride. Battle of Xiaqiu as a result of an assassination, Sun Si died, and his younger brother, Sun Quan, succeeded him. In 2003 AD, Sun Quan launched an attack on Xiaqiu along the outskirts of Jiangxia in an attempt to avenge his father, Lin Kao, a veteran warrior who gained much fame during his service to Sun Si, was appointed by Sun Quan as the vanguard general, however, with a light but elite force. Ling's small detachment arrived the battlefield before Sun Quan and the main army could arrive, yet he charged ahead of all men, and dashed uninterruptedly to the commanding heart of Huang Zhu's army, impairing Wang's massive army to function. Totally caught unprepared, Huang Zhu boarded a warship in a hurry, prompting the whole army to chase its commander in retreat. As Wang's army was collapsing, one of Huang Zhu's subordinates, Gan Ning, aimed the ferocious Ling Kao from a corner, and fired an arrow that claimed Ling's life. Thus, the startled Huang Zhu safely returned to the walled city of Jiangxia. Ironically, Gan Ning did not receive any reward from Huang for saving him at such a critical moment. In contrast, the embarrassed commander even blamed Gan Ning for the loss, citing his savior's past as a pirate. Of dismayed Gan Ning later heeded the advice of his earnest comrade, Su Fei, to defect to Sun Quan's camp. Sun Quan withdrew his force after losing Lin Kao. Still, over the years, he had been having incessant battles with Huang Zhu from time to time. But none of those fought were conclusive or of a large scale, because Sun Quan had been focusing on pacifying rebellions within his newly acquired domain. Downfall in the spring of 208 AD, the defected Gan Ning suggested his new lord, Sun Quan, to prepare a full assault on Jiangxia with the reasons that Huang Zhu was elderly and that the old commander had not replenished his arsenal for a while. Sun Quan took Gan Ning's advice, and he ordered Ling Cao's son, Ling Tong, as the vanguard and Lu Meng as the naval commandant. In response, Huang Zhu assigned his general Zhang Shuo as the vanguard, and Chen Zhu as the admiral. Unlike last time, Huang Zhu had learned to avoid personal involvement in the front line, so he stayed behind the high walls of the fortress city of Jiangxia. Before the battle started, Zhang Shuo led his troops on a large vessel to scout the riverbank, where he was located by Ling Tong who was also checking out the area. At the time, Ling Tong only had tens of his closest warriors on a light vessel, yet he managed to slay Zhang Shuo and capture the rest of the mariners. Upon knowing the death of his general, Huang Zhu immediately ordered Chen Zhu to block the entrance of the Mian River by floating two of his largest warships at the choke point. In addition, Huang had strong men and archers ambushed on top of the cliff hemming the water route, throwing down rocks and fire on approaching enemy vessels. To bring down Huang Zhu's Meng Chong's, Sun Quan sent out his large vessels, but only to get them destroyed by the heavy firepower. After lengthy fighting, Sun Quan realized Huang Zhu's arsenals were not that unchecked and that his own men became exhausted or were killed by the acute arrows from enemy warships. To change the tide of battle Sun Quan had Ling Tong and Dong Shi, along with 100 commandos, donned two suits of armor each and charged towards the enemy despite the rain of rocks from the cliff and the crossfire from the vessels. Through bloody fightings, the two generals finally succeeded in breaking the connection between the two Meng Chongs and the downfall of the warships aspired Sun Force's fighting spirit. While Lu Meng killed Chen Zhu on a ship, Ling Tong had already breached the city walls of Jiangxia. 
surveying the situation, Huang Zhu attempted to flee the city. But a knight named Feng Zi caught the old man up and scrapped General Wang's skull open.